I got this email from Gary. He's been working on a Simpson meter, and he was wondering about the adjustment. He had found an adjustment on the meter itself, but he was still wondering if the needle moves, if it's vertical, I mean you set it up to zero vertically, and then you set it down horizontally, does it stay at zero? Well, I'm going to demo that, and uh, we'll find out that it's pretty close. And I'm thinking that his problem might be his magnet in the meter might be getting weak. Now, another question he has, he noticed that I bring up radio slowly with voltage, which is a very good idea to do, but he wants to use a rheostat. And Gary, that's really not a good idea. And we're going to do a little video on that also. Gary also had a question about the Simpson meter. Now I'm just holding it. Now let's see, let me go up right here. There we go. And it's zeroed. And you can see it's free to move. And he's wondering if it's uh, if the Simpson meter will stay at zero when it's laying down. So I'm going to back up here a little bit so you can see that I am moving in the horizontal position. And it stays pretty well at zero. Didn't move much at all. Okay, I'm going to back this up a little bit. Okay. So that's the way it should act. And I was telling Gary that I think his meter might have a weak magnet in it. Not sure. I don't have it in my hand, so uh, I can only give him my best opinion. And also, I never told him that that was my job in the Air Force, instrument indicating systems of aircraft, and I used to calibrate some of those. So, this is what it's supposed to look like. Gary had noticed that I bring up these old radios very slowly. And of course I did the same thing on this radio, the Philco 112. And I'll just demonstrate this again, what I did. I've done this many times, so I didn't add that as a video to this um, uh, sequence of videos. So we'll bring it up. Oh, I don't know. In the 70 volt range or... 80 volt range, something like that, and let the tubes warm up. And if you look over here, you might be able to see that that indicator is just barely glowing. And I cannot see the tubes glowing at all. So I'm going to add a little bit more voltage to this. and it's starting to play. But when I do this, what I'm really looking at is the current to make sure that it's not, you know, like way over here. That means I have a really bad problem. Now when I bring this up to 120 volts, this radio runs at about 1 amp. 
there's 11 hey, tubes first, in it. I was looking at the AccuWeather um, so, website, and are you guys looking at possibly some tropical up. storm development in the Gulf? Yes, we are very concerned about a tropical system developing. It's uh, actually associated with a broad upper level low that is currently over Alabama. Okay, I'm going to turn this down so I can talk. Matter of fact, I'll just turn it off. Now, my setup is right here, back here is the isolation transformer and of course my variax right here and of course there's 120 volts at the input here and 120 volts at the output here so you might you know, why is it uh, safer well this is why over here is 120 volts but it's at 40 amps potential. Over here at the output, it's 120 volts at about one and a half amps max. So still will bite you. There's no question about that. But it's much safer over here than at the input at 40 amps. So that's the difference. This is my YouTube channel. And when you uh, link up to it, this video will run and it'll explain how to search my channel, which is right over here, this little magnifying glass right here. But what I want to show you right now is in the About. If you click on that, and go down to the links and click on author of free ebook you can download this free ebook notice that the password oddly enough is all american 5 radio all small letters and when you do that you'll end up with this pdf file and as we scan through this going down up till here is basically descriptions of the circuit how to do some testing with an ohm meter but when you start getting your fingers in it with power on I've got a safety chapter here which is what I want to show you when we scroll down a little bit here and here is my setup. Isolation transformer, variable transformer, or variac, AC voltmeter, AC milliamp meter, and then you plug the chassis that you're testing into it. Today we had the Philco 112. And over here, as I mentioned earlier, on this side we've got 120 volts and of course we've got 120 volts here but what the big difference is on this side is 40 amps potential here of course this fuse is much less than that for safety but we do have 40 amps if you're not using a isolation transformer that's what you're dealing with it can be very dangerous over here the highest that it could get would be 120 volts at about one and a half amps. Still, it can bite you, but it's still a lot safer. Thanks for watching.